Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Sable. Um, a little experiment that I'm doing, but also a big experiment because today I had to stop at a hotel because the weather was so bad I couldn't get to my destination at the Petrified Forest in Arizona. So I am in a hotel. <laughs> and um, I decided I would try to use uh, OBS to record this and the mic is basically in my lap and I'm in a hotel <laughs> and I'm just not sure how this is going to go. I'm using a mouse and keyboard still. Um, I'm using my laptop really. Um, so we're just, we're just going to see how this goes and I apologize. Oh, I really hope this works out. Oh my gosh, this is so scuffed if you guys can see what I'm doing right now. Um, you would be shocked. You would think, what is wrong with her? Yeah. Oh, that's right. I'm, but I don't want to do that anymore because I'm fickle. See, oh, the mic. Oh, the mic is falling. Okay. Oh, this is so sketch. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. Ah, but we want to go to Utari. Like, everything is so close together, I feel like you're going to hear everything, every little click, everything I do. Oh, that's right, we were attempting to take a more northerly route around this cliff face and hope for the best. Um, I am currently, right now, very near, I didn't even realize because I'm a, I'm a silly head, I'm just a little nincompoop, but physically, <laughs> I am, at time of reporting, near edge of the cedar, edge of the cedar state park museum, and there's, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a grand kiva out here, I think, a five, five house kiva or something, and there's a dinosaur museum. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what a good place to get stuck. <laughs> and I'm not stuck stuck, I just drove through really bad weather all day and didn't feel like trying to navigate in the dark. So, so here I am. Playing more video game and really hoping that my laptop doesn't explode. Because it is hopefully recording at 60 frames. And playing this, this why this is why though I could not play any of my bigger games. For one thing, my laptop just doesn't have the room. And for another thing, I think they would just be too much. I think my laptop would explode. It's a good laptop, but I don't want to ask too much of it. <laughs> so this was my original plan, kind of for like if I had to work, like record out of my car, potentially. Just sort of as like filler things. I was not gonna be able to bring my PS4 around, obviously. Not unless I wanted the weather to ruin it. I was thinking about trying to bring it, I think, and like stay in hotels like once a month, but my sister's been really kind and really has been like super like, no, no, you stay with us. <laughs> so, so that's been really nice of her. Is that a balloon I see in the distance? Oh! Did I damage my machine? Or did she just, did that hurt? Oh my gosh, she's like, ow. I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm a terrible driver. She does flip floppy though. She's very flip floppy. There's like an oasis over there. I really hope this works here, yeah, as I'm really worried. I'm gonna have to, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to keep my own track. Okay, I set a timer. Usually I can just look at the... I can look over at my laptop and I see how long it's been recording, obviously, but I cannot do that right now. At this rate, I'm just gonna get the cartographer mask just because I... freaking the only thing I can see. 
and access. <laughs> Everything else, I'm just so fickle. I was kind of thinking I thought it would honestly be really poetic. Oh, these are really cool. They look like the ruins that I'm hopefully going to go see tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited. I told I had this I had this place on my list. I I, think, I realized I just started like seven things to say, but I'm really bad at finishing any of them. But no, I've been wanting to go visit. I think it's Five House Keeper or something. And Edge of the Cedar. I really, really wanted to go there. I thought it would be more, but it looks like it's just a museum with like a ruin. Like a Kiva and a Pueblo, Puebloan house. Which is awesome, don't get me wrong. But um, I thought it would be like more hikes, more backcountry stuff to do. But I think it's just a museum. But I'll let you guys know. I was thinking I might try to do like little shorts or something. I don't know, maybe I'm too old. <laughs> to figure out how shorts work on YouTube, but I'm not I'm not one of those TikTok aficionados. I actually kinda of despise TikTok a lot, <laughs> honestly. Holy crap. That's that's the that's the mask of the goddess. Hold on. I'll get back up there if I need to. Goddess. What do you want me to do? What does this, what does all this do? Well, hang on, let's, let's go ahead and slap, slap a thing on there. Anyway, um, no, yeah. I just, I, all I hear about is all the misinformation on TikTok, like it's specifically like historic misinformation, like prehistoric, any sort of any sort of history misinformation and it's really really frustrating because people just believe it when somebody talks fast and shows pictures and points at content that isn't even theirs and he's like whoa and i just despise it but also i'm just boring and old <laughs> and i have twitter which is a cesspool and i'm good with that <laughs> But, no, I, what was I freaking- I know I was saying something. Oh, I did think it would be rather poetic to start out with the Ibexi mask and then end with it. Like, you know, you go all around, all around the world, discover more than a box of sand. I am, I am very good at the game. Um, that, uh, you know, you, it's that sort of poetic thing, right? Where, like, you go around the world and you discover all these things, you see all these people, and in the end you realize, like, You've, you've changed as a person, but home will always be where you started. You know, I'm, I'm not saying it very well, but there is a poetry in that. Where you find contentment where you came from. But you wouldn't, that the whole point of those stories, right, is that you wouldn't have found it if you hadn't gone out looking elsewhere, you know? And I, I do find, I find a sort of poetry in that. Dude, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait to go see the, the Kiva and everything. Holy cat, somebody is just like straight up living here. Where are you, person? I want to make friends. This is not what I do in the desert usually. <laughs> I'm not usually like, mm, let me go. If I see signs of somebody, I'm like, ah. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. I'm like, oh, run away. Nah. The problem is, is I, and I, I may have mentioned this in other videos, but. Wherever I go, because of what I wear for work, which is what I wear when I'm doing like hiking and stuff for fun, people think I'm a park ranger all the time. And like at first, I just tried to be like nonchalant about it, you know. I'm just like, oh, no, park ranger. But then it was like, well, now I feel like it's sort of an obligation to like use this power for good. But then I did started doing that, and. You know, I still, I, I feel like it's probably a good thing. Like, I don't do anything crazy. I just tell people, hey, don't do that, you know? And they're like, oh, sorry, sorry. They, they think 
I am a poor creature. <laughs> and I am an archaeologist, and I do not do know how to get people in trouble if necessary. But mostly I just feel like it's a concerned citizen thing to do. Like, anybody could be like, hey, don't do that, you know? But then there are people who'd be like, you don't work here, and it's like, no, but it's public land. Like, you know, this is, or this is like federally owned land, this is the national park, it belongs to all of us, like, you know, freaking, you don't get to be a, a dick about it. You, like, we're all here to take care of it, ostensibly. Hmm. Now I feel stuck. Um, but yeah, it was, it's, it gets stressful now, because even when I don't say anything, people are always watching me, and I can tell. People are, like, looking at me out of the corner of their eyes, thinking, oh, what can I get away with, or oh, did she see me do that, you know? And it gets, um, it gets very stressful for me, even if nobody says anything. Or people will be like, oh, hey, you know, hi, Ranger, you out on duty? And I'm just like, no. Because <laughs> I don't lie, I never say I'm a park ranger. Um, I just tell people, hey, don't do that. And they listen, usually. Oh, I think I could have had that. If I'd have gone for that edge. Oh my gosh, I'm amazing. <laughs> but yeah, like all it takes sometimes too, and this is what I learned when I did excavation and I had to work with construction workers, was that all it takes is somebody talking in a comp- like having- at least pretending that you are confident, you know? Ooh, I don't know if I can make that one. Like, the veneer of confidence, and people are like, oh, okay, and they'll do whatever you say. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, dang, you know, and I realized that. Um, so all you gotta do is walk up and just like, you know. Oh my gosh, I did do it. Yeah, anyway, I'm repeating myself, but when I, seriously, when I learned that, I was like, oh, dang, that's wild, you know? Um, like, it's true what people say. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta, just gotta act confident, and people will listen to you. As long as you're not saying something stupid, you know? <laughs> like, people are usually like, that's dumb. <laughs> you say something totally, totally off the rocker, but... If you sound like you know what you're talking about. And then I get people asking me questions about like the history of the area and stuff and like... Usually I can actually answer them because I am a psycho. And I love reading all the entries. I go to the visitor centers, I go to the museums always first. You know? Oh, maybe I... Hmm. And I uh... I read all the stuff, so like I know the basics about the geology, the archaeology, you know, like all of that. And people are like, wow, and I'm like, oh, you just gotta go to the visitor centers and read this. It's not like I know everything off the top of my head. <laughs> I say hello to the cartographer. Ahoy! You know, a surprising number of people show up here. Between you and me, I think they just want to feel tall. Why are you guys always up here? Okay, that's a dumb question. The cartographer's got to be able to have an aerial view. I love the map detail, by the way. I decide immediately that he doesn't need to know whether that's my reason or not. <laughs> and any local points of interest? And his response feels refreshingly unrehearsed. unrehearsed. I can only imagine how many times cartographers need to give out the same information to visitors day in and day out. The city of Akria is close by. Have you been yet? And Five Bells Camp isn't too far either, he thinks. The palm forest, you ought to get a look in there, actually, especially if you like a mystery. There's a ruined ship in there no one's touched for years. And speaking of ruined ship, oh, the whale! That was mentioned earlier. The whale's around here as well. You won't find anything older than that. And Akria. Akria? I'm, I'm not reading it all the way, but um. That was mentioned a couple times as a big town. Um, the salt flats of the waste are to the northeast. Yes, we did that. Then south, we just see the sands going to Hakua, the black desert. And if you head east, there's Sand Sea. That's where we were. That's where we started. There's Red Sea, I think, and Sand Sea. And I think we were in Sand Sea. Come on, by map. Ooh! Ooh! 
how much money do I have? I, okay. Oops, I actually didn't mean to do that. I was gonna make sure I had enough to buy the map. <laughs> oh, this is, yeah, this is the Red Sea, okay. All right, dang it. Well, I'll try to remember that the Red Sea cartographer has a bike attachment on that you can buy. Interesting. I keep trying to click on it and it's not how it works. Hopes that was helpful. Goodbye. No, thank you. That was actually very helpful. Look at this. Look at how much stuff there is to do. <laughs> I'm, it looks like I'm like, no, Grandma, you can't tell me what to do. And I'm like going to freaking everything except where she, like literally all around everywhere she told me to go. This has got to be the whale. But he did say, and we did see on the way in, the palm trees back here. There's a mystery there. We should go check it out. I wonder if that's natural. It doesn't look natural. Does that looks like a machine? I love detailed maps like this, like topographic, like the, the squiggly topographic lines. I just my jam. I love them. Okay. That's right. I marked that priestess or the goddess mess. I don't know what this symbol means. What does that symbol? It's like a paintbrush, maybe? I don't know. There's no like key, that's the one thing on on freaking maps. You're supposed to have keys. There's no keys here. <laughs> Bad cartographers. Mm, maps with no keys. Okay. Is that the palm tree forest actually right there? Oh, and there's something over there. Uh, that might that might be the whale. I don't want to poke anything in there in particular because I think it's just it's just in there somewhere. Whatever mystery there's. Oh, maybe that's actually maybe that maybe that's not the whale. No, honestly, maybe that's the, maybe that's the ship in the palm tree forest, but it's not. Let me double check. Palm tree. What direction? Dang it! Doesn't say any other. He doesn't say any directions for the palm tree forest, but it is right there, I think. Ooh, city. Definitely need to mark that. Oh, I'm running out of dots. I'm running out of markers. Maybe I should finish exploring an area before I run off. What a novel idea. Ooh, oh my god, look at the mystery! I, okay, for what, why aren't you telling- why didn't you tell me anything about? This goddess mask here. I gotta run around these houses, see what I find. I'm trying to. I can't turn while I'm in the air, apparently. Well, maybe I can. It's just hard. Because right now, my freaking, um. There's gotta be something to do with this. But I don't think I have whatever's supposed to go here. Oh! It's something that I think I'm. Yeah, I'm sliding off of an invisible <laughs> something, I don't know. Goddess, tell me what you want from me. Anyway, my mouse is actually on a pillowcase. I do have my, um, what do you call it, my mouse pad? Um, but I also <laughs> have, I love how I just yeet off of things sometimes. Oh, you can interact with the butterflies. I didn't think you could. Oh my gosh, goddess, do you want butterflies? Open sesame. Whoever is living here has probably got the answers. Tell me your secrets. Anyway, I'm playing with the my mouse on a pillow. So it's a little bit not as... Uh, not as reliable. <laughs> Not as reliable a source. A part of me almost thinks I'm like 
I like need certain things to unlock. <gasps> oh, 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 oh! I was like, I was like, I was like, maybe I need a um, certain mask to unlock certain abilities. But you're freaking apparently you just gotta wander around the city and you find the goddess statues. Yes. All right, here we go. Okay, that was on. Is that not? That would be the E. I hope that's. Oh, hey, it is north. I just couldn't see the N. So the east side of the city had. Over there had. A statue. Now to find the others. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I could actually go in here. I was just gonna, I was just gonna jump over top. Ooh. And there's a button to push in there. Uh, yeah. All right. I, I think I hope that works because I there's like a ladder in there to get in there. Oh, but I actually I might need to do that just to get out. I don't think <laughs> I don't think it's gonna let me <laughs> throw it up there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I gotta get in here first then. Oh, I didn't actually mean to throw it that time. Okay, I need to get up top somehow. I hope it's not timed. Okay, well now I'm a tiny bit concerned that I have locked myself in here. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna cheat <laughs> and I'm gonna go to the cartographer tower. I don't know if this is the answer, but... I hope this is, uh, this is doable.
See, I was also assuming that there wouldn't be any more statues over there, because I'm like, oh, they're probably, like, in three different directions, you know? No, <laughs> they were they were just two, right? Basically close to each other. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here, because I'm hoping the episode isn't too long and that it hasn't made my computer implode, so... Thank you all for joining me, I appreciate it really quick. I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And then also Adam, my other sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I hope to see you all in the next one.